And welcome back, Yo Bro Nation, to another awesome movie review. We are in the month of October. All month long, we are talking scary movies. And today, we're talking about one of the, well, it's not the first, but it's definitely recognized as the first major uh, found footage film that really kicked off the whole franchise, led to movies like Paranormal Activity and uh, Wreck. If anyone knows what that movie is, you should check it out. But I'm talking about The Blair Witch Project, a movie that came out in 1999. Uh, and I remember this movie, and I remember thinking that it was real. So I, I remember seeing this movie uh, actually at a drive-in theater that summer, um, and it was really cool. Like... Oh, God, you, I miss the drive-ins, first of all. I, I do. I miss the drive-in theaters. Uh, but seeing this was so cool. And, yeah, I totally believed that it was 1,000% real. Uh, sadly, uh, it was not. But it starred uh, Heather Donahue, Joshua Leonard, and Michael C. Williams, who played Michael, Joshua, and Heather. They were... Outside of this one lady who played this crazy old lady who weird back hills hillbilly, uh, they were the only cast. I remember that you know this movie was literally built out to be based on real things, the found footage thing. Like so many people bought into this movie and bought into the oh is this real? Did this really happen and I was one of those people so many people coming out of the theaters like oh my god like the only thing I think that came close to this at least for me personally was the first paranormal activity I was like wait did did this actually happen or am I just crazy like that was where I was like did this is this, this a real thing I bought into it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I bought into it, and I was like, "Oh, okay, sweet." Um, but so this movie is all about, you know, Heather, who's this film student who's gonna go make this short film about the Blair Witch. So they go to this town, I believe in Virginia. I don't remember for sure. I'm, I'm a little slow. Excuse me, but. She gets her friend, uh, Josh, brings along a friend of his so they can do audio and film. And they're doing this documentary. And they go out there and then they start slowly being, like, fucked around with. And things escalate and escalate. One of the best parts about this movie, you never see what actually is there. Um... It's always obscured or somewhere off in the background. You never see it. You don't even really hear it. You'll hear some movement, some crackling of branches. And that's what I think really helps build this, really makes the suspense, you know, more than it actually is. And, and not seeing the thing makes it more frightening, you could say. It's legitimately scarier because you don't don't see anything if that makes any sense and i think that's what I, I i loved about this movie was just just being able to be like oh god what what is it is it real is it not real and of course they'd have sequels after this that were just meh um i don't know something was special about this getting to Getting to see them as they get further, and now they're lost. They're running out of food. They their gear was tore up. Um, you know, they felt like they're being targeted. They're turning against each other. They're losing their minds as they're stuck out there, not being able to find their way out. Right? Oh, we're supposed to only be out here a couple days. They've been out here for several days. I think like a week at some point. And 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 you see just how they're reacting to everything the, the 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 straight like de-evolution of their minds the, 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 the as they wither away being stuck out there kind of just stuck right just kind of stuck 
not being able to get away. And that's terrifying when you really step back and like, okay, yeah, it's scary that something's after them. But what's even scarier is just being lost and no way to get out. No way to communicate to help, to get anyone to help you. That is what's frightening about this movie and what I loved about this movie. I say it's excellent. It's an excellent movie and I loved this movie. And it's definitely a recommendation. You know, Josh goes missing at a point and it's just Michael and Heather and you see the tension with these people and then the just the utter mental break of them. And then you have the climax where you see the dude in the corner in the basement, iconic scene, and what, what got Heather. Obviously... They never they, their footage was found, but they would never recovered, which would actually lead off to the sequel years and years later. That's not that good, but yeah, I give this a recommendation. I say this movie was excellent. I think you all should watch it and you should definitely enjoy it. Um, it's a great movie, uh, and it's it's what found footage should be. It's practical. It's good. It's a small cast. It's easy to follow. So watch it and enjoy it. I'm sure you will. So I'm Zach. Thank you guys for watching. Happy spooky month. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and above all else, stay spooky. Have a good, guys. Have a good night. Yeah, that's what I meant.